Good day, Aries. This is your read for December 2022, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is a general reading. If you want something more specific, check out my website or my information below. It's twinflames3344.com. I have a CD out there called Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames by Evelyn Stainthorpe as well. And I've already pre-shuffled the decks. We're using a combination of the Kipper deck and the Lenormand that I put together to set the tone. We have the Universal Golden for the read all uprights today and then we have the clarifiers rider weight mini and let's get going here for aries december 2022 so what have you been up to aries we started at 11 14. 11 is justice 14 is the temperance card also Libra and Sagittarius. Maybe you're dealing with those energies right now or you have them in your chart. All right, Aries, December 2022. Aries. What is the tone for Aries for December 2022? The ship. So there's a couple different energies that can come from this, and this can be um, kind of flighty, you know? This can be nothing, you know, having lots of ideas, but nothing to ground into. But we have the three of the Empress and the 10 of Swords, which can be a lot of pain and betrayal, or it can be bliss, you know, in ending that pain. This can be travel, this can be cruising, but there's no water here. Like I said, there's no emotion to ground into here. Maybe you're dealing with spaceships here, or maybe you build, you build ships for a hobby and maybe you just completed one, but this can be a blissful trip or it can be kind of flights of fancy. So let's see what else comes up with that. We have the 12, which is the hangman and wisdom of the two wise owls. So you have counsel here, or you have you and your partner very wise, perhaps not to take something that you know is some kind of flight of fancy and not truly grounded or not stable. The seven of pentacles is reaping rewards of your efforts. You may be planning a cruise or planning a trip, maybe going to the mountains here. And then one more. So this is a spiritual, a mature, grounded, very spiritual union. And here we have the king of swords. Okay, so a wise union here with the King of Swords. And again, it looks like it's blissful as opposed to flights of fancy. So maybe you're taking a cruise together or a trip together, or maybe something's coming to you. So let's see what's going on. As I lost a card there. And... Uh, I guess that stone wants to stay down there. Okay. All right. So at the bottom of the deck here, you have the loving woman. And she has the truth here with the ace of swords. And the 29 of the three of wands is being very present in the moment. She may be looking out the window waiting for her ship to come in. Or maybe she's just being very present in the moment. Perhaps to a gift of flowers or to her own gifts or, or psychic abilities. Okay. So there definitely looks like a very spiritual partnership there. Again, it's considered a very mature, wise, spiritual partnership. We have the three, which is the Empress and Taurus. The 12, the hangman, which is uh, usually Pisces. The hangman can be Capricorn for me as well. And then the uh, king of swords there. So maybe you're a wise empress and the king of swords. Actually, they were coming up uh, in a couple reads yesterday, the empress and the king of swords together. All right, so let's see here. For Aries, December 2022. 
Aries, December 2022, Aries. All right, for Aries, what's the first card out? The Three of Swords. This could be some kind of separation or heartbreak or just disappointment. And again, there's the mountains there, so you could be camping out. But maybe someone doesn't like camping out and the other person does, so there may be disappointment for one person or feeling betrayed by this in, somehow, in some way. Let's see what else comes out for you guys. The challenge here for you is the devil. So some kind of codependency or addiction here, the ball and chain. Maybe you're considering the ball and chain, but there may have been a separation in the past as well. So are you getting back together after a separation or after a wise partnership and a cruise perhaps, or flights of fancy after getting wise counsel, perhaps deciding to take a moment. Maybe there's some addictions or codependencies that need to be resolved before you come together into this wise spiritual union. And again, this could be you know, going to your, your priest or your rabbi or your pastor um, to get advice before getting married. And maybe you decide to take a little bit of break to work on yourselves prior to that union. The foundation here is the Page of Swords. And again, here's the country house. I'm definitely getting some, maybe someone has a second house up the mountains or in the country that you're taking some time out. Maybe one person is taking time out there by themselves to think things through. So again, we have the ranch, the mountain house. Um, we're taking a cruise somewhere. I was just getting Italy for somebody. Um, and the recent past here is the magician. And this is about, you know, having all your tools on board, knowing what you're doing. You're all powered up manifesting, making magic here. Or that can be a Gemini or Virgo person there as well. Right? That can be this child or this message from the magician here. And this can be stress too, just heart stress. Maybe someone fell down. Maybe this could be a heart attack. I don't think it's serious. It's only three swords. And this could be because of, you know, not eating well, right? You having bad eating habits. The crowning energy here is the three of wands being present in the moment, which is this, this loving lady in the underlying energies here, right? She's the, the uh, 29 is the three of wands. She's being very present. And look, beneath that, So I don't know if she's Sagittarius, because this card is very much Sagittarius energies. Is this, is this her energy, or is it somebody else who's looking to see what she's watching? And that could be a Sagittarius. We have the, uh, the Nine of Wands here, the Wounded Warrior, and the Fourteen, which is Saggy there, so, and the Fox. So is that her, or, and again, there's this, there's the Wounded Warrior underneath that, pulling up anchor. So again, something that's ungrounded. And there's the courtship beneath that with the emperor. So the emperor's courtship and marriage, look at that. It's not usually this clear. And we have the queen of swords and a thief. So I don't know if someone stole your heart. There's the th three and the four, the empress and the emperor. Marriage and then, the, and then the courtship. I don't know if someone's getting married first and then being courted or getting married because you're going into some kind of courtship of the emperor, some kind of powerful position for somebody. And then, um, again, not something, somebody's pulling up anchor. Maybe you had to move after you got married, but the wounded warrior's not happy about that. Or the fox left the hen house. And the loving lady with the truth. So is that her or is that somebody seeing her point of view as a Sagittarius person? And again, we have the Queen of Swords here with the Thief card below that. So again, being present in the moment right here, but you're stepping on a, there's a bomb here. So you're watching the English patient, right? Because remember Kip, he was um, looking for landmines. And I remember Kip, you know, set up the, the painting uh, the, so that the nurse could swing around and see all the beautiful paintings on the wall out in the middle of nowhere while she's taking care of the English patient. I forget her name, the nurse, but 
being very present in the moment, right? Very aware that you're, step, you're stepping on a ticking time bomb there, but unaffected by it, right? Because that's something you're used to doing every day, you know? You deal with um, those kind of things every day, stress of every day. It's, it's the, that's the usual for me, right? And then what's coming up for you is the King of Wands. And what is he looking at? So he's the man of passion. There's a little lizard on his platform here. So that could be a child who's working with him or following him, watching him. It could be an intern there. But it's a little lizard. And so can you trust them? I don't know what kind of energy that is. Or is that literally a pet of yours? That's a little lizard or an iguana or something like that. And this definitely can be your Aries energy here. But remember, we have Sagittarius here too. And we have Capricorn, Gemini or Virgo. Um, you see yourself as the Ace of Swords. And this is a big truth coming from this Page of Swords over here. Right? Underneath the King of Wands. And look, he's looking down upon them. So someone who he sees is beneath him or who works beneath him. And again, being very present in the moment to the fact that there's a little lizard here and they have to keep their eye on them because they don't know what they might do. They're very inexperienced, right? But they're acting like the magician over here. And maybe this is a new younger person on staff who you don't trust because they're new, but they act like the magician. Maybe they, you hired them because they are this like whiz kid who knows, who's really smart and knows more than you do in the business. But maybe they're not as experienced as you right so there's that lack of trust where you love them because they're they they're so smart you know that whiz kid but they're still inexperienced so you just want to keep your eye on them but this one's bringing the truth big time here right their little sword has gotten bigger right here in your energy aries so is the king of wands sagittarius or is that you aries because definitely those two are coming up big here. But Sagittarius hasn't come up here in the read yet, unless this is Sagittarius. Unless Sagittarius is in the underlying energy, because it's come up in the underlying energy for these cards. What's around you, or how others might see you, is the Five of Wands, maybe combative, or likes to fight, or likes to play word games, right? Or play games with words, right? Having control of or mastery of your words which is very King of Swords energy, which came up here. So people might see you, Aries, liking to spar with people, you know, liking to find a good sparring partner here, right? Someone who's very good with their language. This also can be um, a battle. Somebody could be arguing, fighting here, or seeing you as combative. And there's the page of swords, a child, putting the truth in your face. But you wanting to argue with them, but this is the truth. Or are they, is it not the truth? And that's why you're fighting with them. This child is stressing you out. And you're trying to be very present here. Maybe you guys are out in the country camping together here. This could be like a, uh, a work retreat too, right? To like a, a uh, you know, a pep talk or something to bring everyone together and bond, to learn from each other. Like just practical things that can be like Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts as well. The block here for you is the Empress. Why is the Empress the block? This could be a mother. This could be someone who's pregnant or birthing a new idea or project. So your challenge is the devil and your block is the Empress. So do you consider the Empress the devil or somebody with codependencies? Or is this a Capricorn? Or do you have an issue with someone who's pregnant or your own pregnancy? Maybe, maybe do you want to get pregnant right now? And there's a partnership here. 
Does one person want to have a child right now and the other person doesn't because maybe someone's dealing with children all the time and they're very frustrated by them at the moment. <laughs> maybe they don't want children right this second. Or someone is pregnant and the challenge is codependencies. Right? When you're pregnant, you have to start living better. You have to start eating better, doing things you can't drink, right? So what's coming up here at the end for you, Aries? The sun. So there's so much about children right here. And if you work with children, obviously you like them because you're working with children. This is a child who's, you know, loving that energy of being a child, fully naked, being, you know, your pure, authentic inner child self or the children teaching you how to do that for yourself, exposing all, not hiding things, being fully transparent and fully present in the moment, and really learning to do that. Okay, so this is you learning from the children, right? Teaching the truth to you. What is connecting you to what's left hanging in limbo at the end of your read? So what's connecting to what's left hanging in limbo is walking away from something you put a lot of emotions into. This is also taking a hike up the mountains and going on this trip. And so why is that connecting you to what's left hanging in limbo at the end of your read? Which is finding peace or a peaceful place or getting to a much more peaceful place. And there's the hermit, maybe getting away by yourself or somebody you're with getting away to be by themselves for a bit. Like I said, there looks like there's separation before before going into what you want to do, like a reprieve before manifesting something new. Okay, we're going to clarify all this and we're going to see how this winds up. I'm going to pull a few cards for the end. And then, let's see here, very interesting. It's very powerful at the end. Um, the underlying energy is the justice. So fairness, truth and balance, alignment. Let's see where you're coming from. So we have a trip. We just got back from a trip. So there's the moon, which is romance, or the nighttime, the full moon that's coming up this week, the 7th to the 8th. And here's the king of pentacles here. So somebody was shamed. Here's the uh, high priestess, somebody's abilities. This can be a spiritual person or a religious person where everything's very black and white, right? There's no in-between, right? Someone in their knowing, this can be someone in, with psychic abilities and I'm losing my voice too. And again, the secret keeper, right? Keeping to themselves, keeping secrets um, and someone feeling guilty about something here. Guilt and shame here, right? Like the gypsies, tramps and thieves is the energy from this card at the fair, being shamed. And then again, being shamed for being alternative or being a psychic or being spiritual or keeping things to yourself. Someone feeling guilty and there's the king of pentacles speaking and he's got a coin right here. But it looks like he might be holding it back or does he have a limp wrist, right? Did he have a stroke or something and he's weak and he's sitting because he can't, he doesn't have full use of his facilities right now. Or is this someone speaking at a conference, right? And holding back uh, the coin regarding a romance or talking about the subconscious energies here within you and doing shadow work, which is doing, you know, work about going into the inner child. It's also going to be a romance and talking about spending, which maybe they don't have much to spend on that right now, even though it's the king of pentacles. Maybe he was just in the hospital and he can't go somewhere big or he can't spend a lot because he just spent a lot on a hospital bill. But there's, um, there's, a little, there's a little bit of coin there regarding romance or working up to the full moon here, dealing with the subconscious energies and perhaps doing some work and learning on that, some schooling on that before going on a trip. Or maybe take, planning on taking the trip at the full moon here with the two people here, the partnership here. It's a very loving soulmate energy here to share and ground. And again, it looks like in the mountains, out in the middle of nature, to do the work, to find justice. Okay. I'm getting all is fair in love and war. 
So you could be camping together or going to some kind of retreat together. Perhaps to get rid of some of your, your addictions or codependencies or to get to know each other better, to do some of this alternative work perhaps. Maybe one person believes in this stuff and the other doesn't. Or there's a child here who wants you to do this. Or again, it could be going to camp with children or camping out with children. Maybe you're going skiing up the mountains. Maybe you're going horseback riding as well. There's definitely a lot of mountain energy here or the country house, the ranch, the country house, the mountains, um, a trip somewhere. All right, so we have Libra. Libra, Cancer, a lot two Cancers right here, for me anyway. That could be Sagittarius with the Chariot as well. And then Gemini or Virgo, challenged by Capricorn and Taurus. And here we have Leo. The truth is being pre presented, right? One, two, three. And this stressing you out or feeling the separation, being out in the middle of nowhere, right? This could be someone taking it, their job, right? Going away on a retreat, but missing their partner or wishing they were there to help them. Challenged by the ball and chain, challenged by your addictions or codependencies or Capricorn. The King of Swords keeping an eye on the kids. Maybe um, something that she normally works with, the Empress over here, brought her partner to help out with the kids for a different perspective. Maybe you're having, struggling with your own children or kids you work with right now and want them to see your perspective. And maybe they come in and actually end up helping or teaching the King of Wands something they didn't know or didn't know that children could teach them. Some wise words, perhaps from, this could be a Libra child and a Gemini child here. It could be a Virgo child as well. Or maybe it's not a child, maybe it's just their message, one of those. That it seems like a small truth here, but it's actually a very matured truth. We have two threes here. I don't know if there's third party interference, which can be children here, but there's two threes. And then going from the three plus one is Four, and then five wands over here. So increasing conflict or because he came, they were able to play some sports or games that normally the Empress wouldn't want to do or maybe because she's pregnant, she's not doing those kind of things right now. Maybe she's feeling jealous of the King of Wands because he's getting attention from the child. <sighs> or maybe they have more in common. Maybe because they're both guys. So why is the justice the underlying energy for you, Aries? Why is justice the underlying energy? So judgment reversed. This is somebody not heeding the call. Somebody needs to swallow their pride. Maybe they choked regarding doing something. Felt like they had no options. Right? This definitely needs, is someone who who was holding back an announcement or didn't make the calls or made a bad call. That can be in Little League or sports, that kind of stuff too. And there's not Little League right now, whatever sports are happening right now. So you might've made a bad call and needs to swallow their pride and admit they did it. And that could be Libra. Or maybe they need to admit they need glasses because they can't see well at night. Or they have to admit a romance. Somebody's howling at the moon, but they're not admitting it's true, right? Someone's pointing it out, child, perhaps. 
And then we have the magician here. The magician is dumping their responsibilities, dumping a load or confessing here with justice, truth, and balance. Again, this could be demonstrating to children how to keep balance in your life between the four different elements, right? But this also can be someone, this could be someone dumping all their responsibilities on the justice system or on Libra here. So that could be Gemini or Virgo dumping on Libra here. to cover them, right? So wanting to take someone in to partner with them, to cover them when they can't when they can't carry the weight. It's been too much, right? So taking somebody new on board or partnering up with someone. Maybe teaching children that, right? When it gets to be too much, don't carry that weight, don't carry that burden, but find someone to partner up with and help you. And then we have these two energies together with the Empress. So again, there's that Sagittarius this could be Taurus or Aries energy here, Aries, and this could be Taurus too. So again, partnering up with someone, this one's, this one's the stubborn one, right? Defending all their past wounds, but here finally surrendering to someone else who's also having a struggle with something and maybe they could partner up and learn something from each other. And then this also could be a mother with a child who's having difficulty with that child and partnering them up with this person because they have some of the same issues and maybe they can learn from each other or maybe the, this is a mother who lost their child and they've both, both been through the ringer and so they come together and they've, they've bond based on their wounds as opposed to bonding on something positive here. And this also could be turning two negatives into a positive here. The central energy here is the Three of Swords. We have the Six of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So two sixes here. And this is some, you know, the end of the war, bringing in the good news, leading the way, getting attention and success, good reputation. And here's someone sharing and settling out. And this could be someone overseeing this going on. And they're really happy and proud of what they see, of whoever's doing this. And here's this, again, this energy of being up the mountains and again, riding a horse. And again, someone riding a horse. Maybe someone's learning how to, to, to horseback ride. And again, up the mountains. So some kind of winter camp or retreat. And definitely could be like a function, a work function, or a child function to learn from each other. Some kind of like, you know, uh, outreach program too. But they really like what they see. The King of Wands, he really likes what he sees regarding the sharing and being charitable to each other. How these children or people are working together, taking their, um, their weak spots or their past traumas and injuries and pairing up with others who may be able to see things the same way they do and then may be able to, being able to resolve their issues in that way. Why is the devil the challenge here? We have the uh, Queen of Cups focusing on her heart with the Ten of Pentacles, family, business, or community. This is a very abundant community or, or business. And again, or a retreat, someone who wants to make their family, business, or community more heart-based, and that may be why they're doing this retreat. And maybe they got a lot of kickback about doing it, but now that they're in it, they may be seeing its worth. And she could be a Capricorn, because these two cards are very positive. It's very loving and abundant here. Maybe wanting to also bring more of the love out of this abundant family that's more focused on the pentacles, maybe wanting to allow that to kind of spread onto her partner here. Or this family or business or community with codependencies, wanting them to see the positive in each other. 
It's interesting because these are such positive energies right here. But the central energy is about separation and disappointment and stress, right? The wounded warrior feeling sorry for themselves. And the challenge being the codependency of wanting to feel sorry for yourself. That's that victim mentality down here that's being experienced by the wounded warrior, the page of wands and the empress, which is your challenge. Because as an Aries, you know, you tend to jump right in. Right? You don't usually see Aries. Well, I don't. You don't see Aries licking their wounds very often. Right? Because they're really go they're really action oriented. They're go, go, go. If anything, they, they need to stop and slow down and feel more into their wounds to heal them. The um, crowning position is the Three of Wands, which came up twice. Being very present in the moment. The Ace of Wands reversed. A lack of growth, creativity, not being inspired or aroused, right? Feeling kind of just blah. Fell off the horse. Feeling paralyzed by your passions. Or this can be abuse in the past, sexual abuse. Or maybe this is a player who now is really um, looking into themselves, falling short. Falling short, not delivering what they promised they would. Or, like I said, that Aries, you know, jumps right in before thinking about stuff, right? And this could be doing that and realizing they need to swallow their pride now because there was something, they made a bad call. There's some kind of depression here now regarding a sudden event. I don't know if that's 9-11, if somebody experienced something back then that they still haven't healed from. I'm being very present in reaping rewards from this sudden event, epiphany or sexual exchange. And, you know, really assessing their worth. Perhaps allowing themselves to daydream and not have to do, do, do. Maybe it took depression to get them to see that, to make them be still or to see the error in their ways or in their pride. The King of Wands coming up here. Having that little lizard follow them. And the Page of Cups. Very sweet, innocent, pure, right? They say exactly what they mean, right from the heart. Someone who's very loving and pure. It could be a water sign child. So Pisces Cancer or Scorpio child at work, at school, being very loving. Maybe you went to back to school night and everyone said wonderful things about this Page of Cups child because they're just so loving and supportive and maybe very mature. Maybe they act very grown up around um, other kids acting much older than they are. But this is an asset at work or school or church or the gym or coming together at the hospital. Maybe someone's volunteering at the hospital and someone's really seeing their true worth. Maybe that king of wands thought it'd be ridiculous to do that. Like, what are you going to, how are you going to help? You're only going to get in the way. And now finding out that these kids or pets or messages are actually, you know, much bigger than he thought they were. There's some actual real knowledge here to be learned. And this experience with this little one, this king of wands, maybe didn't want to get stuck with the little one, right? Because they'd be a pain in the butt. But here's someone who actually had a, a wonderful experience with them that it was destined to be. Right? Learning about how beautiful it is to have a child, and especially if this empress and this king of wands lost a child. Um, the experience of being able to bond with children. This is also um, perhaps having experienced the bond with children prior to losing a child can be coming up here as well. And then the lesson that they learned from this experience, however heartbreaking it might have been, Maybe they want to be in service to children because of that loss, whether it was a miscarriage or a loss of a child. 
or just not experiencing that, but just now, you know, having the wrong perspective on children that they're just, you know, a pain in the butt and you don't want them around because it's too much work. And this King of Wands really learning something here. It's really positive here. And the magician's here too. This innocent message of love and coming together at work was destined, right, where the uh, the Sphinx is schooling the golden goose here. And this is the golden child that the King of Wands was able to nurture this child here in a really positive way and bring all their tools on board. Or maybe they did that for them. Right? And again, we have Libra, Gemini, or Virgo over here as the magician energy over here and or the child, right? Because this could be Gemini or Libra energy here. And then over here could be Aries or you with this Gemini or Libra child. And there could be Aries child here too, and this could be Sagittarius, but it feels like this is more Sagittarius, right? So anyway, one of you Saggy and one of you is Aries, but um, we also have the Gemini and, and Libra energy there too, very strongly. So you know who you are. The Ace of Swords. This flipped out oh so calmly. <laughs> it was just there perfectly balanced, right? Not perfectly supported, but perfectly balanced anyway. This is the end of an emotional cycle of unhappiness or an unhappy family with this big truth. This is somebody overworking or the family overworking or it's just not working out between them, right? Maybe this was working like an assembly line and someone doesn't want to do that anymore or the family was expecting to do this every year and they don't want to do this anymore. And the child was, only, was the one with the guts to say it, right? Nobody else wanted to say it. Maybe they got the child to say it. that they feel left out in the cold, right? It's not their thing. Maybe this Page of Cups and the King of Wands, they really bond, but then the King of Swords feels left out. This could even be the King of Wands bonding better with another child that's not his, and then his own child is feeling jealous, his own partner feeling jealous. And here is the here is this could be sports, right? Where a, fa a father is really involved with the kids in his sports more so than his own child. Why is the five of wands there? Why do people see you that way? They see you as the king of wands. So he's coming up as Aries here. Unless this is Sagittarius watching you. So the King of Wands is coming up upright, right? The man of passion, he just loves sports and activities and group events, perhaps. But perhaps these guys aren't resonating with that, okay? The partner. And here we have the Queen of Wands over here. Who's looking the other way at the Page of Swords reversed. Who's unhappy here or all over the place. Right, this could be someone who's lying and spying and mouthing off. Maybe they weren't behaving very well, so they sent them to some kind of retreat for kids because they couldn't control them anymore. This is like the father turning away because he doesn't want to deal with this anymore, but she's still concerned about this, whether it's a child or a negative message here or sending a negative message, not wanting to, but these two are both upright. Maybe they're running a camp for kids, or maybe um, in getting, coming together in your relation, your personal relationship, bringing them into your business, whether you're the king or the queen of, of wands. Maybe your partner all of a sudden has an interest in your work that they didn't have before. See, understanding what you get from it. But there's definitely a family here is unhappy that it's not working out, feeling left out in the cold or dealing, feeling exiled or injured. Maybe somebody lost a player on their team at, for, from injuries, from working too hard. Or because they were pushed too hard in school, right? Kids get depressed and then they might hurt themselves. This could be someone also who lost a child over here 
who's having a hard time getting back. And maybe the perfect thing for them to heal is to be around other children, to get past that, which may initially be very difficult. And again, this could be a couple who lost a child right here. And they're both very fiery. So we have Sagittarius and Aries coming together right there. Why is the Empress a block for you? Well, she's free. She has everything she needs. She's free to leave. She's got a dog who will do whatever, follow her anywhere that she goes. No conflicts, no competition, no battles, right? No need to pursue anything, just being free, being present in the moment, which someone may want to do. And there's this energy free from a King of Cups reversed, who maybe has conditions of love, someone who's got depression or alcohol issues. And the Empress wants to free herself from that, doesn't want to deal with that anymore. Or maybe a father who disappointed them, because this is Aries energy. Right? The, fire, the father who was more involved with other children than them, or the father that was more involved with sports than them. Perhaps this person, you as an Aries, seeing your mother. And wondering if you can achieve what she did. Maybe just feeling really proud of her for having overcome these challenges that maybe now you face the same type of thing because you're the same DNA. You know, whatever codependencies or being addicted to your partner, not wanting to face that. Maybe you experienced that with your parents and you don't want to repeat that cycle. But there's this energy. The Empress is reversed over here, but there's a big, maybe you saw, watched your mother turn her life around from having experienced this. Maybe, maybe your parents split up and now the father has another family and they're paying more attention to them than you. Whether it's work and dealing with other kids or another family that they have, because that happens a lot these days with the, where there's two families. And maybe one family gets a lot of attention from the father and the other one doesn't with the mother. But having overcome all this energies, this disappointment and separation, right? Leading the way over here with this energy from Libra, Gemini or Virgo energy, right? Making big magic and sharing with others. Or maybe someone who hurt you because they left and went to another family, you're now coming back with and seeing what they do for work and really getting it, like why they do what they do. And so that could be overcoming a wound that you have with your parent by seeing what they do with kids. Maybe you have the same common thing in common. Maybe you have that in common. Maybe you both work with kids. And now you're bonding in a, in a whole new way or a whole new level. And spirit's connecting with me. The sun here, the sun is coming out. It's making me cry. Because the, the sun has come out. And you're finally free. Free to be happy and just you and naked with no one being disappointed in who you are. The page of pentacles is reversed here. This is someone in need of help, opportunity or money, someone who can't get something off the ground or having issues with the business that's new. This also could be considered an opportunist that maybe other people see them as always needing someone else to get them started, not doing it themselves. And then here is the sovereign here who's got everything they need. And this could be a mother and child, right? How do, I, how do I get to where you are? This could be a sibling as well, right? Who's very independent. And then another sibling, or again, the two children, two separate families. One who's very dependent on the parent. Maybe it's just because they're much younger. And then another one who's very independent. Maybe you just made a bond with your half sibling that you never had before. Because now you have something to offer them. This also could be siblings where this independent person is being very impatient with them, right? Kind of snotty.
and there's Leo energy there as well as Sagittarius reversed, kind of bowling over them? Or is this Page of Pentacles reversed, the one who's kind of like the fallen angel child and right, the golden child who's, who's independent and successful? And perhaps you're going on a trip together to bond. So this could be a young adult too, you know, being paired up with a child. Maybe you're being a big brother, a big sister in the organization and going up the mountains. Maybe that is big brothers, big sisters that's doing this trip. The Eight of Cups. The Strength card, needing strength and courage, feeling weak or sick or sick of it and walking away, not wanting to do it anymore or just needing a break, right? Needing a peaceful place to go, perhaps up the mountains. To get over a betrayal or get a massage to end the pain once and for all of the split of a divide or feeling divided or the need for clarity within yourself. And again, here's that finding peace away again, bringing this hermit energy in to the mountains, right? Maybe you're, you're going to, on a shaman retreat, right? Bringing in a wise one to, um, help people come together. Maybe an unhappy family is being brought together with a shaman, right? To see where they bond on a positive level as opposed to looking at where they don't connect. And then here is the Six of Swords. And this is lot, having lots of choices, seeing synchronicities in nature, right? Being one with nature. Maybe the shaman is teaching them that, how to be more one with nature so that they can be more one with each other. Um, seeing heaven in their eyes. Seeing what they didn't see before, what they couldn't see. Seeing auras, being taught how to see auras. Being offered a whole new life, a whole new way of seeing life. Being offered time, money, and effort. Or being offered the gold coin, which is reference to unity consciousness or Christ consciousness of unity being one with all. And this is something, maybe finding, by doing this, finding a way to find money to support the house that you want. While the King of Pentacles perhaps can't work because they have a heart condition or something like that, or they need a break. And finding a way to, to invest in the home the union, the celebration, um, even when he can't be the one who's the provider is what I'm getting. And again, this can be the one who had to provide for the um, first family and the second family. And maybe he's tapped out or maybe he no longer has to pay anymore and you have to find another way of supporting the house and finding peace with that or finding peace with having to move to the mountains. Maybe it was the ticket, maybe it was the excuse that you needed to finally do that thing you've always really wanted to do. All right, so we have the hermit. All right, so we have the hermit in the boat here, finding peace up the mountains, or the wise one, the hermit, the advisor, right? Or it could be a grandparent as well. The shaman. Okay, for an awakening, shedding light on the long way down, shedding light. This could be at the, on the mountain again, right? Standing at the top of the mountain and shedding light on that long way down. Or what do you actually see when you stand at the top of the mountain when there's no snow there? If you're at the top of a ski mountain, maybe you like to ski, but there's no snow. What is it that you see? Finding peace no matter what, right? Not going into that disappointment thing. Oh my God, there's no snow. I wanted to ski, blah, blah, blah. But instead of seeing that perspective, seeing something positive here, a new way of looking at things an awakening here to new passion, creativity, and growth. Seeing synchronicities, seeing your options, seeing heaven in your eyes that all that glitters is gold. Taking a gamble on something, even if you don't see what it is, you know, trusting your intuition, 
a whole new way of seeing things, a whole new world. And here we have the King of Cups, which was reversed over here. Learning how to be unconditionally loving as opposed to having conditions or maybe getting over their alcohol or depression issues and then learning to lead the way here or really respecting this fire energy over here. Right? Understanding why they have such a good reputation here when they didn't believe in what they did. Now they understand. And coming full circle or learning how to be authentic to yourself. Right? Or seeing the divine feminine here. Awakening to who she is. This is also Pisces energy and Teddy's eating the plant right now. Teddy, what you doing? Is that good? He thought I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> He stopped for a second. So um, this is someone giving some really positive or good new attention or good news to this energy, whether it's a Pisces energy or the divine feminine, again, naked and authentic to herself. This is the same energy in the sun card of being the inner child, but now grown up, being completely naked to the world, not having secrets, being completely protected by nature. Okay, and now catching somebody's eye perhaps because they're very au naturel and they like that. This one's become very unconditionally loving and this one's become their complete authentic self. And now because they, they've gotten to this good place for themselves, now they're kind of like being attracted to each other. And here's that Ten of Pentacles family, business or community here of abundance which came up over here with this Queen of Cups, which this can be, the Queen of Cups. So this, these three cards right here are these two cards and this card. So from this heartbreak, this separation, the separation isn't coming up as something negative here, unless it's heart stress or disappointment, but learning to transmute things and turn disappointments into a win-win situation. And peace, peace on earth is what I'm getting. Right? This is that energy of a higher love, patience and balance, off the beaten path, taking one step at a time, dipping your toe in and not being afraid to try, and just weaving back and forth as you go. Kind of like that Kung Fu Jesus energy of just kind of walking the world, walking the earth without expectation. But somebody has awakened. Here's the hermit energy shedding light on the awakening to inspire and see synchronicities and to heal unto unconditional love, um, to lead the way yourself by knowing your worth, right? Knowing you're successful, knowing you are, if you're in your truth and fully transparent, then you will, you know, always, ha even if, everyone doesn't agree with you, they're still going to have to respect your reputation, right? For being fully transparent and honest and wanting to bring good news to others. But this is good news coming in, perhaps delivering the end of the war, the end of a divorce, the end of a depression battle or alcohol battle, getting over that and then coming in to bring that good news to someone you, you really admire or love who has a lot to offer here. The hermit. There definitely could be. Um, there's definitely Queen of Cups energy here, and this is Pisces for me. But this could be Cancer as well, and there was a couple Cancer energies right here. And remember, the King of Pentacles is here in the underlying energies, but he was reversed. So something where he's not, he's ungrounded or not doing well here, or lost some money or had some kind of health issue. He had to go into the hospital for a cardiac cath or something. The uh, hermit shedding light on this awakening or an idea with the king of swords reversed, which is in this card up here, the king of swords reversed, getting over himself, getting over negative self-talk, getting over loss, regret, guilt, and shame through this hermit shedding light on it. Maybe getting over the emperor or the need to be the emperor 
right? Again, the little one, the son and the father, the emperor and the king of swords, reversed here. Where the king of swords and the empress, right? Maybe the son was always defending the mother, trying to be like the father, right? To compete with them. And that could be an older brother as well. And the, the emperor here has the secret keeper over here. Maybe this is a new wife who keeps their secrets, or maybe they have psychic abilities. This also could be a nurse, right? That he needs a nurse or an aide to help him. The awakening to the ace of wands and the detoxing here of this heated exchange or constant arguing here. Now, this could be in a divorce, right? A lack of affection from a parent or a sibling or a child. And detoxing the constant disharmony here in awakening to inspiration and growth, creativity, finding new ways of being inspired, not needing someone else to do it for you. Looking back at the past through synchronicities here at heartbreak and separation and disappointment and death, dark night, transformation or Scorpio energies here, right? Trying to heal a death here and maybe through options and synchronicities through there's so many other things that you have like being grateful for the other energies that you have and this flame just went out and that may be a tribute to someone that you have lost and spirits connecting with me, right? This could be spirituality and there's that spirit, right? The Holy Spirit in death and being able to connect with it in death. Maybe you didn't realize you could and now you do, right? In death, there is no religion. There is no societal norms. There is no all boys club, right? Where they have to bow down to the leader over here. There's only one source, God energy. And that's not the religious leader. It's source energy, which we all are. We're all a piece of source energy here. And this is the spirituality thinking outside the box, the divorce, right? Walking right over this religious leader that's telling them that they can't get a divorce and maybe ends up this person's tainted and you find out something bad about your religious leader, and then this is somebody walking right over them, like I'm not listening to them anymore, and them preaching to the kids, to our kids, about what's right and wrong, when they need to listen to their own intuition. There's a big message coming up here, and maybe somebody was abused by a religious leader when they were young, and it could be an elder too, or someone in their family. And here we have the King of Cups, the world reversed. So his, he could have Pisces in his chart. Maybe he's Scorpio with Pisces in his chart where his world is upside down. Or just maybe he's got a, a divine feminine or a Pisces energy that he really admires. She teaches him a lot about justice and truth. And this could be a, a Libra energy as well. So we have Libra upright touching at at odds with Taurus reversed, perhaps going through dark night or a death that was heartbreaking. And perhaps this energy of justice here, of holding on and being more practical or not letting other people in, in a divorce and trying to hold on to something, to some, some little ounce of pride that you have left and that's for the King of Cups over here. Leading the way to this Pisces energy or Divine Feminine with an abundant world of angels and patience and unlimited energy in that respect. And an awakening, not being able to sleep and rising above or awakening and coming out. Awakening, a big awakening here with the truth coming in. That can be synchronicities being brought or deliveries coming in. that there was a message of love offered that they had been ignoring one after the other, but they never gave up. They kept coming. Feeling imprisoned or trapped or blinded 
by their thoughts, right? It, they figured if they if they just pretended it wasn't there, then it would go away. A third party, or bad influences, or refusing to socialize, to find happiness with oneself. with help shedding light on how to be happy with oneself, getting advice. Or maybe someone shedding light on some arrogance that may be there. And this this hermit, maybe the Queen of Pentacles reversed, maybe feeling ungrounded or unloved suffering in silence or not sleeping well, uncomfortable dealing with emotions of walking away from this because there's a soulmate here or there are children involved. The one. Coming clean, getting clean, or cleaning up the actor space post-war, dealing with PTSD, and still coming back and offering love, which is this energy right here. Offering love to someone in disconnect or at a distance with clarity, new information, the queen of swords, perhaps grieving, or in negative self-talk, defenseless to the energies coming in and unable to function here because of grief. So again, learning what somebody else has been through, right? This is a masculine energy coming into a feminine energy here. Perhaps this is not even you. Maybe it's a situation that you've learned from just that's just outside yourself. Let's see. We're already over an hour, so let's... It was an important read, though, for Aries here. Let's see what Romance Angels has for you. I hope some of this story has hit your mark because there's some very powerful messages here. Romance Angels for Aries, December 2022. New love. A a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you may literally be going on a retreat. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So again, a retreat, a partnership retreat. And the underlying energy is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So again, that came up as well. And there is a past life relationship. You've known each other before. And you're healing, you're healing past life energies here. Um, I'm going to pull an energy card for you guys here. It's a really spiritual, responsible union here, right? Being very practical about making a commitment to someone and wanting to work on each other before you make a commitment to each other, perhaps. You know, want to heal some family issues before that happens, and there's cornucopia, and this is all about abundance. Right? And this energy of Thanksgiving here every day, the 11 of justice, having gratitude every day, perhaps creating a strategy, journaling, coming full circle. The justice of of coming full circle, of coming back and being whole. The 46 of soulmates and someone finding their mission here. And the angel of balance. And again, this is two working together. Someone finding their mission, a new way, right? Seeing perhaps from their perspective and actually finding a child, a childlike connection here. And then this one learning how to stay balanced and walk away when they need to. And maybe because they walked away, this person came into their their inner child and then brought them back together again. Very beautiful reading here, Aries. The bottom of the deck is the 40 of that innocence of the Page of Cups and Archangel Metatron, the third eye, opening up your third eye, and then the crown of liberty and a sudden awakening here at 10, 11. So that's uh, both 10 and 11 for me are Libra energies of the wheel and justice. Finding patience and balance in liberties, in sudden liberties or sudden crown awakening here with the third eye here. 
This can also reference 9-11 and a child and something that happened and receiving messages from that child perhaps. Or just having patience with a child. Maybe them teaching you something about liberties and gratitude and the country that you live in. Okay, Aries, wow. Remember your water, your joy, your it's your uh, your rest and nature, which looks like you're experiencing nature for sure here. Remember to breathe. The breathing is inspiring. Breathe. Rise and be love, love and rise. It just went to 106. 106. And then it's going to be 10. And it's going to be turning 1221. Rise and be love, you guys. Bye.